ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Chairman Stephen Klubeck, Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Derek Clearly, Saldi Amato, and Ron McCarthy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record, 18 wins, three losses, one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the number seven ranked middleweight contender in the world, Darren the Gorilla and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record, 22 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, presenting the number five ranked middleweight contender in the world, Derek Bronson! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Let's keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. Oh. The tension in this Building has been elevated. It all comes down to this. Darren Till and Derek Brunson in our five round middleweight main event. It has Ready. been Ready. a better Fight. night for the Liverpool natives thus far. We'll see if it continues. Darren Till, center of the octagon in red. Derek Brunson is in blue. You see the speed difference there, though, because Derek threw a left hand there compared to Darren's. Yeah. I, love right I love what Till's doing now. I love what Till's doing now. Till's trying to make Brunson back up. It's harder to wrestle on your heels. Yep. By not allowing Brunson to go forward, he's keeping him from wrestling. If you can force a wrestler onto the back foot, yeah. And he's doing when the right you thing. take defensive shots, a lot of times you find yourself in submissions as the wrestler. Great forward pressure. There's a nice left, though, by Brunson. Look at this. You can tell for Brunson, after eating those shots and feeling that pressure, you know he's thinking about shooting a double leg anytime now. Oh. So look at that. So fast. And Till throws his punches straight. Right? Till's not throwing loopy shots. Brunson has to tighten it up a little bit. He wants to get the tilt. See, that's the thing. Brunson often leaves openings. He does get wild. He hits hard. He's just great yeah, strong. Great 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 change. Great level change there by Brunson. Shot the double leg. Hit a knee. Right? Hit a knee to get to the double leg and get the takedown. Beautiful by Brunson. And this, in my opinion, is what this fight comes down to. Yep. Can Darren Till keep the fight on the feet? Of course, we've got five rounds. He's on the floor right now. But can he get back to his feet and for the majority of the time remain on the feet? And on the flip side, can Brunson take him down and do damage on the ground? That's the crux of the matter when it comes to this fight. Well, so the, far, the most well, important, the most important factor is how long does Till stay on his back? If yes. he was able to get right back up, it may discourage Brunson from taking him right back down. But him accepting bottom position and Brunson with a little top control really will be encouraging for Derek Brunson. But to be fair, I don't think he's accepting it. I just think De Derek's doing a good job of giving him downward pressure. But this is great for Derek Brunson right yes, now. There's absolutely. no threat. While Darren is proficient at jiu-jitsu, of course, 
You know, he's not a crazy threat off his back. Right. Of course, he knows armbar triangles and all the rest of it, but he's, that's not his wheelhouse. For Darren to win, he's got to get back, work his way to the fence, use that fence to stand up, and then go back to work with the feet. But for Brunson, this is perfect right now. Oh these are heavy God. shots. Yeah, he's making these ground strikes. Oh, Cal, cover it up. Look at Derek Brunson with the great posture, landed big shots, and now back to control. Great job there by Brunson. Darren's going to try and get more on his side. He's got that underhook with the right hand. He's going to really use it. He's let it go now. This is good for Brunson. Till felt the power. Yeah, you see let it go. that right eye. Excuse me, DC of Darren Till already showing some significant swelling. He has spent here. Oh, Brunson gets through for Brunson that was a now. Big elbow. And Till did acknowledge to us that Brunson is the purest wrestler that he had faced. Couldn't think of a point of comparison in his UFC career. Yeah, Darren's going to try and use his hips and, and shimmy away to the fence. And then from there, use that to try and get up. He's going to get an underhook on the right, with the right arm. He's going to watch those elbows as well as Derek. Because they're coming over the top and they are hard. Those are some shots by Brunson. You saw this against Shibazia. Brunson's ground and pound has improved night and day. Brunson really opening up now. Just over a minute to go here in round one. Brunson's got to be very careful not to overextend on the ground and pound and give Darren an out. Darren's thinking about a, a leg lock there a second ago. Might have served him well to do that. Yeah, he's going to get it. There it is. Nice work by Darren. Crowd pops as Till gets <laughs> back to his feet, acknowledges Brunson's work. Gives him a little tap on the back. I mean, that's why people love Darren. Nice elbow, though, on the break by Brunson. Strong opening round for Derek. If I'm Derek Brunson, I'm getting this fight back to the ground as fast as I can. Lickety split. Because when he gets Darren Till down, Darren, his top pressure will be a problem for Darren Till. As I said, it, it's a, you know, there's, there's two storylines. Can Derek take him down? If he does, he wins. If he stays on the feet, Darren's by far a superior striker in terms of technicality, viciousness, speed, you name it, he's better on the feet. But as we saw there, Derek Brunson is no joke on the ground when it comes to hurting his opponent. So one takedown attempt, beautiful entry, results in some big moments for the underdog Derek Brunson in round one. We will stay right here for you in between rounds.